All right. Welcome back to the uh, Concord X tutorials. Uh, this is the engine start part of the tutorial. Okay, uh, there's two ways to start the engine. First way is uh, Control E. That will let you start the engines automatically. Remember, if you got the flight engineer set, then they'll do all the mixture, fuel mixtures, and different things like that for you. Now, the next step is the way I start them it might not be the right procedure but it will start the engines alright first things first you want to make sure that your parking brake is set and then again you want to make sure that you request ground power and request ground air alright a lot of people have problems starting the engines and that may be one of the problems alright okay next step you want to hit control shift excuse me shift 3 to bring your uh, overhead panel up your AFT overhead panel and you want to turn your anti-collision nav lights on seat belt and no smoking sign on alright next step you want to hit control shift 8 to bring up your DC panel DC electrical panel and turn on both batteries okay battery one battery two next step you want to hit your control shift seven and that is your AC electrical panel and you want to hit the switch here to close okay and that pretty much starts up everything all right your next step is to hit control shift 1 which brings your forward leg panel up and you want to set all your Debo switches here to Debo alright close that panel control shift 2 brings up your engine control and you want to move that probably right into the center of your screen because you'll just need to monitor mon monitor a few of the lights to come on and make sure they go out uh, once the engines are started okay next go to your view and instruments and your brake panel find it here brake control panel and you want to set your YG1 switch and your 2BY switch to on Okay. Close that. Now you want to hit Control Shift Three. That brings up your air bleed control, and we want to start engine three, two, four, and last but not least one in that order. So we'll take the uh, engine three cross bleed valve and open that so you can see your valve goes up okay shut that bring up your control shift one which is your forward leg panel and you hit the start switch to start and you monitor your N2 here Once your N2 gets up to about 12%, bring your overhead panel up and open your HP valve to engine 3. Now you want to go to control shift 3, which is your air bleed valves open up engine threes bleed valve to open and your condition valve to on next step go to your hydraulic panel which is in view instrument panel hydraulic turn your blue valve number three on
Control Shift 7. Turn your generator 3 valve on. Excuse me. You know you have a good engine start when your engine is idling around 65, 60%. Okay, you do the same for engine two, four, and one. Okay, and I'll do that quickly so the tutorial doesn't be too long. Again, control shift one, control shift three and up engine two's cross feed valve good turn your debo switch back to normal for engine three then engine two start valve to start Again, once it gets up to about 12%, open your HP valve. Control Shift 3, which is your air bleed control. Open up and condition on. Control shift 7, batteries on, and view instrument hydraulic panel. Green 2 on.